Hello, and welcome back to Victor's Evil YouTube channel. Today we'll be continuing to read Lost Treasure of the Emerald Eye by Geronimo Stilton. Chapter 2, Thea's Secret. At lunchtime, my sister, Thea, who was a special correspondent for the Rodents Gazette, came by on her motorcycle. I am taking you out to lunch, she said. We got reservations at the mouse house. She grabbed my paws and whispered, I have to tell you a very important secret. Twenty minutes later, I peeled myself off Thea's motorcycle. My teeth were still chattering. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I shrieked, tucking my whiskers back into shape. Why, why, why do you have to go so fast? It's dangerous. One day we're going to end up sipping cheese through straws at Mouse General. Still the same old Freddy Mouse. My sister laughed, slipping into the restaurant. Of course, before we could sit down, Thea had to greet 50 friends. Hi, Ratsy. How are you doing, Switzita? I rolled my eyes. Thea had more friends than a cheese delivery man the day before Thanksgiving. Finally, we were seated. So what is it? I asked impatiently. But my sister was busy looking at the menu. Why don't we order first? She said. Cheese ravioli for two, she told the waiter, with extra spicy tomato sauce. Spicy, I groaned. You know I get heartburn. Did I mention my sister can be incredibly annoying at times? Thea waved her paw. Oh, please, you could use a little spice in your life. Besides, you'll have to get used to eating all sorts of foods on our trip, she whispered, winking at me. Trip? What trip? I asked. Shh, shh. Do you want everybody to know, she said, pinching my tail. Well, what are you talking about? I hissed. Thea glanced around. Hold your whiskers. I think the waiter may be spying on us. He looks a little suspicious, she said. Who on earth will want to spy on us? I cried. My head started to pound. If you only knew, my sister replied, looking very mysterious. I clenched my fists. I couldn't take it anymore. I climbed onto my chair and squeaked. What are you talking about? Everyone stared. Slimy Swiss balls. Someone got up on the wrong side of the hole today, said Fee. But she began talking anyways. I found a map of an island showing the spot where treasure is buried, she squeaked. The Emerald Eye. From under the table, she pulled out a yellowed piece of paper. I found this map at the flea market, she continued. Oh, Jerrykins, you must come with me. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance, she finished excitedly. First of all, don't call me Jerrykins. My name is Geronimo, I cried. Second, I will be too busy at work. We are about to publish the next volume of Rodent Rules for Dummies. And besides, who's ever heard of an emerald eye? It's ridiculous. Thea grabbed my paws and stared straight into my eyes. But you're my big brother. You can't let me go on my own, Jerry Berry, she squeaked in her sweetest voice. My sister could convince a cat to cook dinner for her. The name is Jeroni Mo, I shouted. That night, I drank about ten cups of snoozy time tea, listening to my squeaky sounds sleep tape, and counted grilled cheese sandwiches. Still, I didn't sleep one wink. Thank you so much for joining me. Next time, we'll be reading Chapter 3, Cheap Junk for Less. See you then.